Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has made a brand new pair of Windows 11 Insider Preview builds available for the beta channel uh, insiders this week, builds 2261.1465 and build 2264.1465, which they rolled out on the 16th of March. Now this week, there are a couple of new features that have made their way to the beta channel. Mainly um, in build 2264, which has new features rolling out by default. And most of these um, new features in the beta channel for this week I have posted on previously because they were originally available in the new Canary channel, the dev channel. And now I have made their way to the beta channel, uh, which means there is a possibility now that these features mentioned today are getting closer to an up and coming stable release. But just to do a quick recap uh, for the purpose of the beta channel for this week, and the first is Microsoft are introducing live captions in more languages. Now, just a quick recap, live captions basically help you, if you are, say, hard of hearing, to read live captions in your native language. And uh, in this build, Microsoft says they are providing captions in uh, Chinese, that's simplified and traditional, French, German, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, Spanish, and other English dialects. And they will be adding more languages as they become available in the future. Moving on to the next, there's updated touch keyboard settings that replaces the show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached checkbox under settings, time and language typing, show the touch keyboard with a new drop down menu with three options as we can see being never, when no keyboard attached and always. Moving on to the next and this is to do with um, the cloud suggestions in Simplified Chinese IME where and there are some changes now that will allow you to easily type popular words in simplified Chinese. And the changes include an improved cloud suggestion and integrated search suggestion. The cloud suggestion adds the most relevant word from Bing to the IME candidate window. Moving on to the next. Um, the integrated search suggestion gives you additional suggestions that are similar to what you see in Bing search page. And then the last image for the um, cloud suggestions for Simplified Chinese. And um, to turn on these features, Microsoft says select um, a Chevron button at the right end of the IME candidate, as we can see. And um, that's the candidate window. And you'll find the turn on button. And as you can see, try text suggestions from Bing. And that's just uh, showing us that whole process. Moving on to the next. And this also rolled out previously. But just to recap for the beta channel for this week. Um, they've added a glanceable VPN status icon into the system tray when connected to a recognized VPN profile. And the VPN icon, as we can see, uh, is a small shield um, that will be overlaid in your system accent color over the active network connection. And then um, the last image for new features for today and screenshot from the release notes, um, the voice access, as we can see, now includes all commands and the supplementary information accurately and also includes a new search in the top left in the voice access app. Now that's um, images from the release notes, just giving us a better description of various new features. But just to mention one for the purpose of the beta channel, which has also rolled out previously. Um, it's to do with improvements for the multi-app kiosk mode. And in case you're unaware, um, multi-app kiosk mode is a lockdown feature for Windows 11 that allows an IT administrator to select a set of allowable apps to run on the device while all other functionalities are blocked. So this is mainly to do with IT admins in corporations and enterprises. And uh, um, some of those um, lockdown features now are limiting access to settings, um, lock down the start menu to show only allowed apps. So that would be only allowed apps by IT administrators. Um, on the start menu and then block toasts and pop-ups that lead to unwanted UI user interface and um, multi-app kiosk mode is ideal for scenarios in which multiple people need to use the same device as mentioned in corporations and enterprises. So that's mainly the key highlights that are new and have rolled out to the beta channel for this week and that's builds 2261 and 2264. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.